impact goes back to the very first meeting that I came to. I, I kind of spoke a little bit about, um, you know, helping my brother with uh, Medicaid, Medicare. You know, well, it just it wasn't. He wasn't even 65 at the time. It was insurance, and he had a he had a, a hernia. It was ex real painful. You know, and I I just talked to him and I said, well. Why don't you go to the doctor? He says, I don't have insurance. And I was like, well, I said, I'll, I'll make an appointment at my doctor and I'll pay for the, you know, you got, you have to get this taken care of. So uh, just that was the beginning of, you know, of learning about our health care needs. You know, my brother and I both born here, you know, we grew up here in Westwood. And some of the digital stories are going to be from uh, people who came up with the very first conquistadores and founded Santa Fe. Now some of those digital stories are going to be for the people who came up during the Mexican Revolution and started the, and worked in the, in, in the uh, coal mining industry, in the railroad industry, in the, in the uh, vaquero industry. Some are going to be some that came in after the Mexican Revolution. Okay? They came in during the Depression. Some are going to be stories that came in during the Rosado program. Okay? The people who stayed here where Mexicanos stayed during the Rosado program and built the, the agriculture industry in the Southwest. And then finally, the last group are going to be young, recent Mexicanos who have come. You know, none of us were born with a silver spoon, spoon in our mouth. mouth. That's right. So all of us came up, what my dad would say, the hard way, okay? We learned all, we went through all these knocks, and, and including this issue of health. Uh, so that's one point. However, most of those people uh, arrived at some place in their career or in their life. So those people not only brought that background, but they brought expertise in health. We had a nurse that was in the meeting, at least one nurse. We had some college professors who made presentations and were involved in issues. We had community people who had been involved in other organizations. We had governmental people who were involved in some of the governmental issues. The heart healthy breakfast brunch at all these meetings. Now, not only did we have a breakfast, but we demonstrated what a healthy breakfast looks like, okay? which is part of the whole issue with uh, Latino health. Two hundred people is going to have direct impact. We're going to be providing health issues, all the stuff that the Promotora uh, program uh, is about. A minimum of two hundred, because we will be in effect reaching their families. Workshops that we are going to be providing are going to help spread the word. The community right. talks, word right. of mouth. Extended families and neighboring communities will be impacted, okay? Plus, uh, hopefully the organizations that they're dealing with will have been, will improve their cultural competency. And one of the ways we're gonna do is go through this communication system that we're gonna develop. I, I can do this, I can learn to do a lot of things. I can learn to use a computer, I can learn to uh, use my cheese test for something that's to help somebody, help someone else. And all. You know, we, we don't realize how many people are out there that need a lot of help.